Hello everyone! My name is Cynical and welcome to Angels of Death, Episode 3. Or if you prefer the Japanese name, Sasuriko no Tenchi. There you go. So, if you have watched the previous two episodes, great. If you haven't, do it. <laughs> because it's important uh, to obviously have a grasp of the continuation of the story. So, without further ado, now, new game. If I can actually click, enter. There we go. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy this. It's a, uh, it's an anime. If you prefer to watch that, go ahead. Um, I've already watched the anime, so now I'm in the game. There are some differences here and there. Um, there's a little bit more details in the um, backstories and their plot lines and whatnot. So yeah, there there's slight differences here and there, but uh, get rid of that. There we go. But uh, yeah, if you prefer to watch the gameplay and watch the anime, to grab the grasp like the whole, the whole Angels of Death thing, go ahead. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, she's dragging my body. That's right, I remember now. Zack. He uh. At the ending of episode two, he uh, he had to take some uh, really bad stuff in syringes, and uh, <laughs> did not go well for him. Zach, we've arrived at B two. Ooh, already floor two. Damn. Ah. Zach. Eh. Thank goodness. We there yet? Yes, but... Then let's get moving! No way, you're not ready! You're still bleeding! Eh? Blood. This ain't no biggie to me. No, your wounds aren't fully healed. It could be fatal if they open up. I said that it's no big deal. No. Eh, Ray. What's wrong with your face? Zack. Zack. It's all right. He's just passed out. He's still alive. But carrying him any further is just not in the cards. I can't very well stand him up and make him walk. Not to mention the blood. Just stitches won't cut it. I gotta stop the bleeding and disinfect the, his wounds. I'll go check if there's any medicine somewhere on this floor. Zack, hang in there for a bit. I promise to make myself useful. So just hang tight until then. I gotta hurry. Oh, I can finally move. Jesus Christ. All right. There's a single door. Nowhere else to go. Sounds like a pipe organ. <laughs> yes, it does. And okay, that's not creepy. <laughs> the lights came on. Hmm. This place gives me a weird vibe. Ah, I can move. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What? Smoke coming from an overturned candle? The smoke, it sort of has... Ah, sweet scent. Uh-oh. They're gonna start seeing things. What just happened? I spaced out for a second. No. Enough about that. I gotta hurry and find Zack's medicine. Okay. 
God desires the pure and sincere. Hence I inquire, what art thou? A sacrifice, an angel, or if thou art someone who seekest salvation from him. Reveal all and repent. Repent. Hmm. Confession stand, huh? Is that a confessional in front of me? So this place is... Salvation. Do I dare go in? There's a door, but it's closed. Bid thy name is written on the door's center. I guess it needs my name here. Rachel Gardner. It opened. Makes sense. Being a confessional and all. Do I go in? I guess I do. Enter. I should have saved first. Shit. <laughs> I hope there's medicine in there. Me too. Because <laughs> I just put myself over. Here I go. Is it just me or? Oh, here we go again. Is the sweet scent getting stronger? Maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. There's no way out? Oh no. But Zach's counting on me to find medicine for him. I gotta find the way out. Alright. A small vial lies on top of chair. Acquired veil. Ah, the inside. It's empty. I suppose this is a ink vial. What the? Uh, okay. Yeah, there's no ghosts, I guess. Sure. Just writing on the wall from nothing. There's writing on the wall. Profess thy sins. Let a vial serve as testament. Then what dost thou feel upon reflection? A door to perceive thy defilement hath been opened. I just heard something unlock. What does it mean by professing my sin unto this vial? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe your blood. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. Some writing emerged on the wall. Profess thy sin. If thy sin is unknown, rip it out from thee. What? Rip it out from thee. Hmm. Do I use it? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I just read it. Yeah, thank you. Do I select it from here? No. What the hell do I do? Do I take this back with me? Hmm. Let's see here. Ooh. If you're hearing background noise, sorry. Um, there was some snow last night and there's plows. Sorry. Uh, there's nothing but a mirror here. And more writing on the walls. Do any of you care about the walls? The wallpaper? Come on. No writing on the walls, please. You learn this as you're a child. God damn it. Look well unto thyself. Art thou a sacrifice or the lost? Or are you a demon? All God desires is thine unerring self. What do you mean? Why the writing in the walls? That. That and look well into thyself? Referring to this mirror? 
My reflection is in the mirror. I can see my reflection. That's all. Art thou naive or simply deceiving thyself? This is the chamber of repentance. If thou wishest to leave this place, pick up thy shard and know thyself. Yep, I have to break the glass, cut myself, put the blood in the vial. Okay, yep, here we go. <sighs> it shattered. A human figure is reflecting in the mirror shard. My reflection from earlier is still cast in the mirror. What a bizarre mirror. But I better take this with me. Thy shard is probably referring to the shattered mirror. Correcto mundo. If there's nothing else here, then I gotta hurry and find the way out and search elsewhere. Okay. Maybe I do it here. Okay, yes, it's the same thing. But, oh, here we go. Fire, uh, items from your inventory can be used in a specific location by selecting them from the menu. Okay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and save. There we go. And let's go ahead and use the mirror shard. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Big, big black glob thing. What the fuck was that? Oh, I got to save. I just fucking saved. <laughs> okay. Ooh. What is this place? There's no way out again. No, no. There's writing. Are thy sins... <laughs> God damn it. Are thy sins visible? What thou hast committed is blacked out. Hast thou erased thy sins, or art thou unaware of thy sins? Oh my god, this talk. <laughs> if thou hast... <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my cool here. If thou hast lost sight of thy sins, fill it anew and accept those which flow out. And that is ringing in my ear. Ow. Jesus. Fill it anew and, and accept? Does it mean I should fill the vial that I have? Yes. Okay, what's the paintings here? The painting depicts a man holding a hunting knife. Oh, hunting rifle, excuse me. Rip the painting, do nothing. Um, it is a painting of a snake, do nothing. The painting depicts a boy hurriedly, hurriedly running down the road at dusk. Hmm. And this one's nothing. The inside of the frame is jet black and devoid of a painting. An empty black painting. Should I complete it with something? Perhaps. Hmm. This mirror shard. My face casts a reflection no matter which way I pointed it. Hmm. That's all? <sighs> okay, let's see if it happens to do anything when going here. No. All right. What about the veil? Not a damn thing. Nope. Nope. All right. Looks like we're cutting something up. Uh, let's cut up. Yeah, sure. Do this one. The painting depicted a lamb came out of the rip in the painting. Acquired a lamb painting. What the fuck? The muscle of a hunting rifle peeks out from the rip of the painting. I gotta dodge it! Oh, that was close. That gunfire, my fail couldn't, could have been shattered. Sorry. Let's see here. I don't know if I can ever go in front of that, but uh, let's just not do that, huh? 
Um, maybe we need to put the lamb painting in here? Apparently not. That's fine. Sure, rip it out. The painting depicting a ew came out of the rip in the painting. Alright. Oh my god! The snake crawled out of the rip in the painting. Oh my god, the snake's too big to fit into this veil. <laughs> Besides, I gotta be careful to not to get bitten. Oh, come on. Doesn't now just hang around here forever? It's following me, isn't it? No. Okay, it's just randomized. Gotcha. Okay, I'm sorry. The boy lets out a shriek as he falls down the hole created by the rip. I can't fill this veil with a scream. <laughs> no, you can't. Ah, the painting, the painting, a ram came out of the rip in the painting. A ram painting? Why? And it's not doing anything. Wait, what? I am so confused. What the hell am I supposed to do? What do I do now, Master? Uh, visible that I was committed to black is, uh, da -da 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 -da. Hast thou erased of thy sins, or art thou unaware of thy sins? Wait, what did it say at the very beginning? Are thy sins visible? What thou hast committed is blackened out. Hmm. Upon placing the ram painting, it vanished within the frame. Nothing happens. Maybe it's missing something. Okay. Alright, I'm starting to get the gist of it. Now the final one here. Uh, vanish within the frame. Oh! The painting of the sheep family emerged within the frame. The painting is now complete, yet nothing happens. If thou hast lost sight of thy sins, fulfill it anew and accept of those which flow out. Hmm, which means I need to damage this painting. Rip it. A red liquid spilled out of the painting. Blood. I think I can put this liquid into the veil. Yeah, you can. Uh, it's now inside the veil, okay. So, we good? Yep. Great, fantastic, let's go. Oh, we're back, yes. What just happened? I put the liquid into this vial, so what now? Beats me. It doesn't look like medicine either. There's nothing for us here. I'll go back and have a look elsewhere. Alright, let's go. Okay, yep. This is new. Hello! A door. This wasn't here earlier. It shouldn't be here. Oh well. Now I can finally get out of here. Here I go. It's so dark. This is gonna be hard to navigate, let alone search for Zack's medicine. <sighs> Plus, this place also has that sweet scent. Hmm. What's with this... this smell? It's sweet, yet has this... fishy odor to it. Hmm? I'm spacing out again. door is gone. Why does this happen whenever I'm in a hurry? Anyway, I gotta find my way out again. Stack's in trouble. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh no. 
My footprints are bright red. This isn't my blood. But then whose is it? Hmm. It doesn't matter. This is no time to sit idly by. I gotta hurry and tend Zach's wounds. Well then, let's go. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I'm just following these. I have no idea which way I'm going. Oh my god! Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Found it. A door. I can hear music playing further inside. That sweet scent is getting stronger. Maybe it's the smell, but I'm starting to feel woozy. Yeah, definitely feel groggy. Groggy. This pipe organ music. Where is it coming from? Hmm. Probably that right there. Why dost thou repent? Is thine heart which repents for salvation genuine? Can thou consecra consecrate thine sins to God? Yet thine sins remain unseen in thine heart. If ye seek salvation, reveal thine sins here. Reveal thine sins here? None of this makes any sense to me. But I'll be saved if I do what I... <laughs> Sorry. But I'll be saved if I do what it says. Does that mean I can get out of here? How do I do that? How do I do that? How do I do the voodoo? I need to do the voodoo doo doo. Okay, not telling me Jack. Um, hold on, let me save. Maybe I go ahead and do something with no pocket. Do I play this? The organ keys are playing music on their own. A picture of an angel adorns the pipe organ. I possess a vial of red ink. Soiling this picture would wrong. Maybe using this liquid will show my sins? So it didn't do it? Oh, for God's sakes. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. I'll, I'll do it myself. Alright. Uh-oh. Ah! Quiet down. My ears and headache will fucking... Ah, my ears and headache like crazy. Oh, oh shit. What the hell is this? It's a chapel, a church, yeah. The organ's playing again. Who art thou? Why dost thou hold thy tongue? The question is, who are you? I am the preacher of this church. You may call me Gray. Just Gray. 
Is that because you have gray hair? Sure, okay. Hey, preacher. I believe it is now your turn. Rachel Gardner. Reverend, are you the resident of this floor? Veritably. I suppose to you I'm a resident of this place. Never fear, my child. I still have yet to determine your nature. Until I learn more about you, I shan't pass any sort of judgment. That's fine. Well then, what brings you here? I'm looking for something to stop bleeding. Hmm. Hemostat, is it? That is what that Zack fellow requires, is it not? That, that That's right. But how did you know that? Of course, I'm more familiar with them than anyone. Regrettably, there is nothing here for treating wounds. Such remedial items could only be found on B5, Daniel's floor. Oh no, then how do I get back below? You desire to turn below? Yes. Such a wish should not prove arduous. Uh, come and I shall see it through. Go with you? Yes, my child. I know the way. Can I trust you? My word is my bond. Yet, before we go, you must first pass a bit of a test. A test? It be not a toilsome task, my child. I merely desire to learn more about you. I seek not an immediate answer. Let your heart choose. I shall remain here for a while. So he's only... So he's the only one who knows how to get back below. I'll go check on Zack and see how he's doing. Hmm. Suspicious. He's... Acting different than the other inhabitants of other floors. I passed through this place. But it sort of feels like I may have skipped several rooms. That's all in your head. From all the, I guess, poison. Oh shit, what the hell? Zack. Shit! Ugh. Zack, hold still. Hey, Ray, where'd you go? I was out looking for something to stop your bleeding. What? By yourself? What the hell's wrong with you? I mean, I can't very well force you to move now, can I? Plus, you were sound asleep. Idiot. Just whack me till I get up then. I can't do that. Man, you're stubborn. And... So, did you find anything? No. But if I go back down to B5, there should be medical supplies. Huh? Going back now? Yeah, but if I go... Zack! Relax for one second in your life. Zip it! What am I, five years old? My scarf's heavy as hell! Ah, this doesn't make a lick of sense. No, you rest. I'll go down below to get your medicine. Zack, you lie down and take it easy. Huh? Zack, you'll die. Your scythe being heavy is your... Is your body telling you that something's not right? Don't assume I'm a gunner, got that? You know I won't die so easily, right? But... Pretty please, Zack. Give me a chance to actually help you. Please? Uh, don't think for a second that I'm gonna let you just because you said please. Please? 
I'll cave. Ugh. Anyway, how come it, uh, how, how are you gonna get down there? Oh, um. I'll manage. Ugh. Can you really manage by yourself out there? Yeah. Fine. Right now, I can't even carry my scythe. I'd probably just be extra baggage like this anyway. No. What else would I be then? But, if you think you'll survive, then go for it. You're right. My stomach's killing me and I can't move. Ugh, I'm gonna get some shed eye. Okay. Hey. While you're at it, hit B6 too. Huh? B6 is where I first found you. I want you to bring me something from there. Got it. What's the item? Bring me something. What the fuck's the item? Come on, hello. Give me the info. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna be searching for days. Zack passed out again. With an injury like that, I don't blame him. Hmm. I'll go, I'll go see that preacher. Let's do it. Let me go ahead and save first. There we go. Better not fucking backstab me later on. I kick your butt. <laughs> Hast thou come to a decision? Yes, I have, sir. I need to go back down to B5 to get some medicine. So I'll take your test. Hmm. So be it. Let us be off then. Okay. Oh, and uh, do me a favor. Please don't do anything to Zack. Of course. Why is it I smell a sweet scent coming from him? And I think you've just fallen into his trap yet again. Because that sweet scent is whatever he, whatever, it's of his doing, basically. It's like a hypnotism or whatever. It seems you felt compelled to keep me away from Zack. You needed to keep a watchful eye on me. No harm shall come to him by my hand. Shall we get going, Rachel Gardner? Yes, let's. Going on back down. Hmm. Why do you help Zack cling to life? If he were to die, I'd be lost. Be lost? What do you mean? It's because I want Zack to kill me. Zack made an oath to God. Interesting. So that is your incentive. Heavens, tis a terrible oath you have forged. Just as I suspected. The sweet scent. It's coming from him. Oh shit. Hmm. Yeah, we're we're already in his hands, but we're aware of it. Shit. Hmm. Rachel. Rachel Gardner. Well, for now we have arrived at the B3. What is the matter? It's nothing. I just had something in my eyes, that's all. Henceforth, all I can do is offer you sage advice. No need to be intimidated. 
it shan't prove difficult. To operate the elevator leading down from here, thou must find its mechanism and press the switch. The B3 switch is located in the jail. If you can press it, then I shall open up the elevator. The jail. That's where Zack stomped on the arm that was sticking out from the cells. Time to get moving. Alright. Very purplish. I don't know how I feel about this. Kathy's penchant for deception has made floor B3 more trap laden than any other. She has gifted at she was gifted at using them to reach people emotionally and thus led them to seek self reproach and salvation. Though she always was a bit of a splendid thrift, let us call it one of her charms, shall we? Hence there could still be some here seeking self reproach and salvation. Now then, I will go ahead and wait by the elevator that descends to the floors below. Okay. I am fairly sure the jail was further down this way. I gotta make this quick. Let's see here. The iron bars are open. I should be able to get to the jail's house through here. Let's try it. I still hear voices. Hmm. Oh. This was the only place where that arm looking thing popped out. Something's there. Is that the switch she mentioned? Can I reach it? Just a little further. Oh shit, okay, nope, 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 nope. Oh boy, oh boy. Go, baby, go, gonna go, gonna go, gonna go, gonna go, gonna go, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I tried to go through that one fucking thing, it wouldn't let me. Son of a bitch. All right, I see how it is. I see how it is. Yeah, bring it on. Okay, didn't even give me a fucking chance. Okay. <laughs> Dead in one fucking second. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go 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 you know what? I'm tired of your shit. I'm tired of your shit. Go. Alright, I'm not even gonna go down there. I'm gonna go through here. That's it? That's it? Are you kidding me? What were those things? It doesn't look like they'll follow me through here. I can't get into the jail like this. Hmm. Those things are in the way. I can't use my gun anymore. What do I do now? I got it. This floor has traps all over the place. The jail's over there. There should be... There should at least be a way to deal with them when they come out of their cells. I'll check out the room with the machine that controls this floor. I know where you're talking about. Oh yeah, it's actually this way. Okay. Come on. Through here. Ah, my eye! Aha! Oh, the body's gone. Why is the body gone? Huh? Why is the body gone? Oh, the equipment's still there. The body's gone. Yes, it is. A plethora of buttons line the device. It appears to be used on this floor. I should be able to bring up the security video here. Hmm. 
it's this room and the device mechanism for this room this is harder than I thought it is this it here we are from here I can look at the screen and shoot them hmm I wonder if she was shooting wait no I wonder if she was shooting would be escapees with this <laughs> okay, that sentence is throwing my mind through a loop. What? I wonder if she was shooting would be escape. Oh, okay, there we go. Jesus Christ, I have no idea why I have trouble with that one. Not a damn clue. It could be why there's so many of them here. Can I can I start shooting? I'm short on time. Got to hurry. I just need to align the crosshairs and press this button. Then I can safely enter this room. Oh, and to go for leg shots instead of head shots. Why? That's a weird hint. I'd rather go for a head shot. Boom, head shot. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, aim, cross pad, and then confirm button. Okay, got it. Start. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, come on, yeah, yeah. Oh, you suck. I did it. Are you proud of me now, ma? <laughs> oh. Not the one I wanted. Hey, 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 hey! You get your ass back over here. Now you. Ha! Gotcha! Okay, not done apparently. Oh yeah, there's more up here. Uh, you? Oh, you're gonna be trouble, aren't you? There we go! Are we good? I think we're good. Now I can press through safely. Pass through safely. Oh, come on, not now. Don't do it. What a terrible thing you've done. Disposing of those who lament in pain and suffering like yesterday's garbage. And yet you show no emotion. You'll stop at nothing to have Zack take your life. Rachel, you truly are a sinful woman. I don't want to hear that coming from you, you bitch! What was that? Wait, it's gone? Hmm. I don't get it. At any rate, I gotta hurry. Weird. I shot them all, so I shouldn't... So I shouldn't be obstructed anymore. No, this is no time to worry about that now. Worry about what? I have no idea. Okay. Oh. I'm sure I shot them. But there's no trace of them. Then we're good. Alright, there's a switch a bit further back in the jail cell. I think this is it. Okay, I pressed the jail switch now. That sound... Was it the elevator? I'll go see him now. And it's just gonna transport me over there. Yep. It appears you managed to press the switch. Yes, Reverend. And how did you accomplish this feat? Did it not a soul give chase or impede your progress? No, somebody did. But I shot them all. Is that so? And what was your reasoning for such an act? Because they were in the way. I see. Well, time is short. Let us carry on to the next floor. I can already tell we failed his test. <laughs> or maybe we're passing. Hmm, due to the people who are inhabiting these floors, they're a little bit weird. 
So maybe it's reversed for him and his judgments. Maybe caring about our needs is what is the true judgment of our calls. And the true passing. Well, we have arrived, Rachel Gardner. Time will only tell. Uh-huh. As you requested, floor B4. The switch here is within the water temperature control room. Why must you do all of this? What do you mean? For a while now, your actions have been confusing me. I just want to go downstairs to find some medicine. It is all for the sake of learning who you are. Who I am? Indeed. For you see, you are irregular. A lamentable lamb. Or perhaps a demon. Also, I am monitoring your actions during this test. Hmm. He wants to learn more about me. But that... That shouldn't matter to him. Yes, he's not just a priest. A pr hmm. He's like researching me. Hmm. The power light, uh, the power unit is running. Okay. Just gotta go back. Whoop, not that way. The gravestone Zack destroyed. Has it been moved to somewhat? Not again. What's wrong with me? How am I able to see the dead now? It's all his trick. But this is no time to be scared. The stone has been shifted, exposing the grave. The grave appears not to be occupied. Fantastic. Thought I saw something. Hmm. Okay. This is a very long way. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Upon closer inspection, I see this place has been utterly ruined. Eddie was a nice boy, to be true. Furious he must have been that his graveyards were the target of a felonious devastation. Perhaps his kind heart is to blame for his tendency to receive the short end of the stick. A piteous fellow. But it is those who were meant to be resting in their graves who should be pitied the most. Eddie was compassionate enough to give them a resting place for the cleansing of their souls. Now even that wish shan't be granted. Well, I shall go on ahead. You may resume your errand. There's something sticking out from the broken gravestones. Looks like hands! Those shouldn't be here. Hmm. But no need to worry about that now. I've got to go to the temperature control room. I'm pretty sure it's the back of the room to the right. I'm not going to you. I'm not doing it. Ah, shit. Why are those right there? Were there coffins here before? No, they weren't. There's a large hole. Sorry. There's a large hole in the wall. The control room for the water temperature. It should be through here. Hmm. Some sort of fan is running. It appears to be some sort of device. Uh, water temperature. The temperature is displayed. An icy chill pervades the air. It appears to be a refrigerator. Something's written on it. 
only for my use. Upon opening the refrigerator, a breeze of chilly air begins to waft out. There's nothing inside. Ah, there's a hole in the back. But I can't seem to reach it. So I had something long and thin. Uh, do I have to go look for something? I guess I do. Okay. Great. There's a broken pickaxe. It's broken, but it might still have some use left in it. But it's not long enough. I'll go find something to make it longer. Okay. Oh. Ah, shit. The object protruding from the gravestone is moving on its own. I think that's a hand-shaped stuffed toy. I guess it's a moving toy. Ah. If I tie that to a stick with some string, then... Oh my god, that is fucking annoying. Ah. <laughs> oh, come on. You suck. So what do I gotta do? Do I just grab it? Toy hand. I guess so. Fantastic. It's broken by the time I use it. Okay, I got to go into inventory, but let's go ahead and save real quick. And let's go do that and that and that and that. Or not. That's completely fine. Yeah. Hmm. Did I misread what I said earlier? Probably. Great. Sure, let's collect them all. That should do it. I'll try attaching it to that pickaxe. Oh, okay. So I had to collect a few certain amount. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. If I attach the toy hands to this and make it longer. First, I'll sew them together. And combine them. Then if I attach it into the tip of the broken pickaxe. Yikes. Acquired strange pickaxe. Now I should be able to reach the back of the refrigerator. Cool, let's go. It appears to be a refrigerator with only for my use written on it. There's a deep hole in the back of the refrigerator. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, for God's sakes. I should be able to reach the back with this thing. Yep, 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 yep. This thing's so odd. It's not broken. And it's still wiggling a little. Well, the hands were moving by themselves, yes. Ooh, we got it. Good. This was the right switch. I gotta hurry to the elevator that goes down to the floors below. The toy hand stopped moving. Enough. I saw that, Rachel. How terrible, just terrible. Hey, does hearing a sad scream not make you feel anything, Rachel? Don't you want to comfort whoever screamed? Even consider what makes that person happy? You only think about yourself, Rachel. And blatantly ignore anyone else's happiness. That's why everyone around you, even Zack, will no doubt suffer and meet their end. Not again. How awful. A sad scream. I feel nothing. Suffer and meet their end, even Zack. But I... No, I mustn't think about this. The next floor, B5, has the medicine. I gotta hurry and go back there. I press the switch. It appears so. Rachel Gardner, how did you manage to press the switch? I attached it to a hand to a pickaxe and pressed it with that. Interesting. Did they wail in agony? No. 
How can you be so sure? I mean, it was just a toy hand after all. I see. They must have appeared to you as such. So be it. If that is what you saw, then it is must be true. Please let me go down to the next floor. Very well. So if it is what I saw, then it is true. So if he saw it was something different. Hmm. Um, weird. We arrived at B5. You wish to come here, did you not? Yeah. Then make haste and find your medicine. Danny is a fastidious man, but he is nevertheless scrupulous, dedicated and unbiased in his work. Surely he has the medicine you seek. Nevertheless, it seems Danny has been a trifle obsessive as of late. Um, what's it? What, uh, what is it? Ah. There's something I need to get on B6 as well. Oh, very well. Sure, it's okay. Yes. Return to the elevator once you have found the medicine. Okay. Time to find that medicine. I'm positive there should be some here. Although I was in a complete daze and didn't take a good look around when I was here before. I passed through the store before, but something seems a bit out of place. It's been bothering me the whole time, but I just can't put my finger on it. Mm. The walls and the elevator are exactly as they were. Even Zack's vomit is still here. Eh? Oh, come on! Something's really not right here. I'm out of here. Or you know I can just die. <laughs> Ow. Ah. Huh? What happened just now? What in the world? But the only thing's left me feeling strangely refreshed. It bothers me. Never mind that. I gotta find that medicine. Zach's depending on me. I'll try the operating room. It's, it seems like a place where I could find some. Everything's changed back to normal. Did somehow the vomit... Like, cure me from whatever it was? That, like, priest guy was fucking putting me under? And the body's gone. The doctor's missing. Oh no, where is he? I'm pretty certain there wasn't a body on B3 or B4 either. But the only trace of him being dragged is here. Something's off. I'll forget that for now. My first priority is finding some medicine. The room in the back should have a shelf with specimens and drugs. Okay. Hmm. There are numerous glass eyes inside. Okay. Wait, those are open. The drugs have been taken out, leaving only the eye specimens. The drugs are gone. I scour all the drug shell. I scour all the drug shelves on this floor if I have to. What the hell? Are you serious? Okay, those are still the same. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing there. Hmm. Uh, 
Let's go check the other rooms here. Okay. The security camera is broken. Huh. The insides also seem ransacked. But there's nothing here. So it appears to be. Holy shit. The interior has been ransacked, leaving no place to step. <laughs> There's too much debris to pass through, and it's completely destroyed. Very unfortunate. The glass rack is unlocked. Unfortunately, the medicine has been taken out, leaving it bare. Is it the... Is it the priest's doing? Or is it Danny? Is he still alive? It's gone. All gone. The medicine's all gone. Did someone make off with it? I gotta get back and see Zack. But I also gotta go to B6. Zack asked me to. I gotta hurry. What does that matter? You look ghastly. Hurry and take me to B6. And so I shall, but did you find any medicine? No. Nothing? You told me there would be medicine here on B5, but that turned out to be false. Hmm, well... Perhaps you doubt my words, but do not look upon me with accusing eyes. I too am unaware as to why the medicine is missing. Yet, I can guess that you are here, that you are to blame, Rachel Gardner. It has nothing to do with me. Has it never crossed your mind that you have played a part in all these unfortunate events? I told you it has nothing to do with me. Never mind that. Hurry and take me to B6. Very well, let us be on our way then. That's weird. What the hell is he talking about? Hmm. Uh, what? Excuse me? Oh, so you're alive. What the hell? Please don't let this be Danny. No, come on! But you're so weak. Uh. Shall I finish you off, Zack? Ah, fuck it is. Wakey, wakey. You never change, do you, Zack? It amazes me that you can move so nimbly in that shape. But look at you. You're almost out of breath. What the hell are you doing here? Surprised. I knew all along that you were attempting to go after Rachel and leave this floor. So I hid a bit of a safety precaution under my clothes, just in case. I had no idea. No idea that you'd actually show up, though. Alright, I'll slash you good one more time. You mustn't push yourself, Zack. Look at you, such a slowpoke. Huh? <laughs> Besides all that, just leave it to rest. Even I didn't make it out unscathed, you know, okay? 
<laughs> yeah, okay. My body armor and blood transfusion packs got hit hard, resulting in this mess. You seem pretty peppy, considering if you ask me. That's, uh, that's what separates you and I. Proper preparation and advance, and clean up afterwards. Though... I'm just as frantic as you are. I thought about killing you in your sleep, but you woke up. There goes that idea. Tell me. Why are you accompanying Rachel? And where is she anyways? Are you seriously asking me that? <laughs> as if I'd ever tell you where she is, you fuck! What would you do if I said I killed her, huh? You trash. <sighs> Who do you think's been admiring her peepers? God damn it, still with the peepers. <laughs> eyeballs! They're eyeballs, god damn it. Are you trying to say you killed her? Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck around with me. Those peepers are unique. I've been searching my whole life for peepers like those. Alive, yet dead, and so tranquil and beautiful. You think I'm gonna let someone like you have her papers? They are all mine. MINE! I've been admiring them for so long. Who gives a flying fuck? I couldn't care less about her eyes. But she wants me to kill her. And I'll be the one to do it. So whatever happens to Ray isn't yours to decide. Fine. Have it your way then. I know she's alive. You being here on this floor is proof of that. Ah, yes. Allow me to make a proposal, my battered friend. Eh. <laughs> Do tell the truth. I have lots of medicine on my person. Want me to use it to save you? That is, if you can scoop out Rachel's papers and give them to me! <laughs> I just told you that I've got no fucking interest in Ray's eyes. Count me out. Without her eyes, her laugh and smile would be empty. I thought I told you to leave me alone uh, about her stupid eyes. I'm not giving you anything, you bastard. <laughs> oh my, what a fool. I'll take my leave then. Eh. I'll lose to a monster like you in my current state. You can't even walk properly by yourself, right? In that case, I should hoof it out of here while I can. Besides, I gotta make preparations to protect her peepers. Hey, shit, wait, wait! We have arrived at B6. Zack's floor corresponds to his mystique. It is uncomplicated in design. Now make haste. Oh, I can move. Okay, great. So, uh, very unfortunate, but I think I'm going to go ahead and leave episode 3 here for now. So I hope you all enjoyed. This was actually fan freaking tastic <laughs> I love the story as it gets even deeper and deeper. And, um, I fudged up here and then. Sorry about that. Um, I don't really like to edit these out, per se. I, lo I love er everything unedited. Shows how much funny it is to see others screw up here and there. So I hope you enjoy that. 
If you don't, that's okay. But if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. It shows appreciation, and I appreciate all of you doing it. And please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by hitting that red button that says subscribe. And click that damn bell to get notified when I upload or do streams. So, please, <sighs> do that. Enjoy your time out in the wilderness of the world. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but hell, I like it. And please remember to stay sinful, folks.